Hello teachers, welcome to this new tutorial on GeoGebra Classroom. So GeoGebra Classroom, uh, there are a few things which we all teachers need to know. So let me take you through those steps. So we have uh, three, four steps to cover in this tutorial today. First is introduction, then creating and finding activities, creating a lesson, then inviting students for your interactive lessons. So let's begin. So the first step is the introduction of GeoGebra Classroom. And then we'll jump to create and find activities. So when we say uh, introduction, so Ge what is a GeoGebra Classroom? It's very similar to your Google Classroom. But here you can find uh, lots of math lessons already created by uh, many experts on GeoGebra platform, which are free to use. So you just need to create a lesson for any resource, share with your students and then review their work in the real time. That's really important. Uh, you can track their progress on a live class. So let's find out what to do first of all in order to do that. So first, what we have to find out, which activity we are going to plan for our students, right? And is that relevant activity available on GeoGebra resources or not? So if that is available, then we will definitely use it. Otherwise, we'll create our own or customize our own those activities. So what I'm going to start now. So let's find out first few activities uh, which we should be using. So I'm actually going to geogebra.org and uh, you can sign in because uh, you want to save your work. So please uh, sign in. Let me sign in with my ID. So quickly I have signed in. Creating an account is also easy and uh, creating an account for students also easy. You guys can just uh, go to how to create account and that's not a difficult task you can definitely achieve it now here is the search option you can find out any activity relevant to your math lesson you can also go to resources and find out some of the activities let's say i want to use this parallel line activity right i found out and i want to use it so i'm going to click on this activity so first thing is uh, here is the author name you will find out right if you have created then it will be your name only so in this activity what we have done we have added some directions how to use it for students and then they can use this geogebra uh, platform to create lines and then draw parallel lines. I can show you here. So they can just create any line using two points. They can create any parallel line. So parallel line, you just select a point, sorry, a line to figure out the slope and then a point, right? And then your line is ready. So if you move any point, right, look, so your lines are moving because you can figure out the slope that's the task for students so they can explore it you don't need to tell them that parallel lines have same slope let them figure out let them explore and then you can add questions here you can add multiple choice questions let's say i'm just clicking on this i want to check this answer okay it's wrong so student can try again this is optional and i'll show you how to add this so let's say you are uh, ready with your activity which is you didn't create but you just found out right so in order to assign this activity you just need to click on this create button create lesson so create lesson and then you can change the title if you want let's say lesson number one lesson two lesson three and students set can view the correct answers it's optional as i told you right if you want to make your students okay do the self review tick it otherwise ignore it uh, create so once you hit the create button 
the activity is ready for your students. So what you can do, uh, copy this code and share with your students. And as soon as they have the link, they can join this activity. See, no students yet. So if anyone is joining, I would be able to show you how they have joined. Let me show you the past activity which I have used and I will show you the students. Look at this. So this was the activity I shared. Okay, the, this is the one which we just created and the old activity. Let me show you here. So see, I have, uh, I will hide their names. So this activity had uh, eight students and for each student, I can see their progress. I can pause this activity because uh, you want to track the time, how much time they are spending because you can't just allow them for the whole lesson that they should use this. Prepare a side uh, activity also for on paper, pen and paper work. So you can resume this activity you can show names, go to this part and you will be able to see task one, student progress. Look, six out of eight, they are done. Now you can click on details to see how many of them they are done what, with what. Look, these two, they haven't started, but all of them, they have done some work. Same way, you can go to task number two, task number three. So each task, task means any question or playing with the uh, GeoGebra tool is a task. So these tasks you can create easily. So first thing is done uh, that you can find out any activity on GeoGebra resources and then uh, if you like it, hit the button create lesson, right? Go to resources, find an activity look perpendicular activity quick exploration hit the create lesson button if you want to uh, go ahead as it is now another thing here there are three buttons right these three buttons what you can do or how you can make use of it you can definitely share your activity you can copy this activity and now the copy of that activity is there you can change the title I'm just changing it lesson number one now you have the flexibility to change these questions or add or delete questions now you can see on every component now these are the tasks so here is the pencil copy and delete option so you can add it if you want so look it was open-ended question but you can make it multiple choice question right so it's done. I'm not making any change here. Now this is the tool. They will use it to explore it. And okay, okay, cool. And then you can move on. Now there are more questions. Again, you have the option to edit. What I did, you have to hit on those three dots and then make a copy of that activity. So let's say you are done with this. You can save and close if you want that uh, you uh, want to, let's say add a worksheet for your students. Click on add element and here you can add a PDF file. So click on PDF file and attach a document so that your students can view that document and then solve questions on a paper. And for that instruction, you can add a text. You can also add a video. You can also add a GeoGebra tool again, add images, notes, question, question. These are questions. So this way you can actually help your students. If you want to add online quiz, you can click on web, right? So once you're done, you can just hit save and close. Go to your GeoGebra homepage, click on profile and you will be able to see look at this lesson number one perpendicular lines if i click here you can see now my name and geogebra team the original author and my name both are here now you can you can just see again what you want to add or delete if you're okay then just hit create lesson button and you are done so that is the first phase uh, finding out uh, any activity creating a lesson from it 
Number two, what we did, uh, we made a copy of one ready-made activity and then made some changes if we want and then again create a lesson for that. Now that's something which is done. Now number two, what number three, sorry, what I wanted to tell you that if from scratch you want to create your own activity uh, that I'm going to cover in next video. So please hit like and share with other teachers. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See you in the next video where we are going to learn how to create the activity like this. Thank you.